Hey guys, it's Daryl. It's uh, it's Saturday evening here. It's uh, another cold, rainy afternoon here in Connecticut. Uh, I interrupted. I was actually watching an old movie, uh, Fat Man and Little Boy, about the making of uh, the nuclear bomb in 1943-44 at Los Alamos. Great movie. But I started doing research. Um, I'm going to leave a link to a site that I use a lot. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of it. It's called PolitiFact. Uh, it's connected to Facebook. <clears throat> it is not Democrat. It's not Republican. It is the, the most fair fact-checking resource I have ever found. And they, they have a, a, a sister um, site called Pundit Fact. I think. I was reading up. Uh, it, it was uh, it, it was started out of the Tam uh, Tampa newspaper, apparently. Uh, the journalists, they don't take contributions. They don't express any of their own, their own personal political beliefs. It's the most, as far as I've ever found, the most truthful fact-checking site I can think of. This all came up because I'm going to do a video tomorrow. I was thinking about how half the country believes that the country's never been so divided. Um, but I won't get into that now. I started looking at, at PolitiFact um, for certain facts. Uh, I see if there was anything up about Iran or anything like that. Yeah, I found something that was important. I wanted to make a video right away. Apparently, there's a white supremacist called Hal Turner, and he tweeted out uh, this false information about Virginia and the governor North Northam. Uh, this this tweet uh, or, and this this post apparently made its way around Twitter and Facebook that supposedly Northam was was threatening or considering shutting off all utilities, uh, electricity, um, cable tower, um, cell phone towers uh, when they were getting ready to um, grab everybody's guns when they were getting ready to confiscate guns that. His plan was to shut off electricity, uh, cell towers, and everything like that, to black it out so you can go in and take guns. This is 100% false lie. It's been taken off Facebook. Um, there is no truth to this, this whatsoever. It is 100% false. I did, though. I did read something that bothered me. Um, it's, I read more about this gun legislation coming up, uh, Resolution 16 or something 16, uh, banning assault weapons as a possible, uh, possible vote. But this is what bothered me. It, it really truly did bother me. It said that there was a, a wide variety of descriptions as to what is considered an assault weapon. And it went on to list shotguns, uh, cylinder revolvers. And at first, I was like, is this part of the lie? Because it, it sounds wrong. And I don't think so. Um, this bothers me. I grew up with revolvers. I grew up with shotguns. Um, I certainly hope that's not part of their uh, this, this, uh, this ban that they're proposing. I, I'm not for any ban, period. But then again, I'm not for civil war or, you know, people starting militias on the town green or anything like that. Um, I don't really think there's any need for that. Uh, then I saw another quote from the governor, Northam, a uh, true quote that said, we're not planning on taking anyone's guns, period. Uh, I hope you know that's true and he's a man of his word. But the thing that bothered me was this tweet, this insane tweet um, that's getting people all fired up and crazy talking out. And, you know, they hear, they see this, this false information put out there by a white supremacist. And they get all fired up and start talking about shooting at government tanks. And, you know, what if the, the troops come on my, you know, National Guard troops are going to come to my house and uh, it's getting out of hand. Um, so that's, that is 100% false. There's no plan on shutting off electricity, cell phone towers. That is a lie made to inflame tension. Don't fall for it. There was another one. That supposedly, this is a 100% lie also. Lee Majors died and left $5 million to Donald Trump. Lie. 100% lie. 
false lie. It's almost, I, I start to smile because it's so ridiculous, but people believe this stuff. Um, and then there was a couple others. Uh, the, these are 100% false. Um, on, on PolitiFact, they have like a rating where, uh, like they have the Obama's rating that goes, you know, his, all, where his statement's mostly true, all true, partly true, false, partly false. Let me, you guys look at that. Look at Obama compared to Trump, their, their presidential ratings as to fall, true and false statements. And that's all I'll say about that. Like I said, I, I trust PolitiFact. It is not a Democratic, has it nothing to do with Democrats' website, has nothing to do with Republicans. Purely a fact-checking, researching uh, situation. Okay, then there's another 100% false one on there that said... Uh, Nancy Pelosi says she'll resign if this damn legislate or this damn impeachment doesn't go to go through. It's a lie, hundred percent lie. Nancy Pelosi did never never said that. False, one hundred percent false fact. Uh, there's another one that says uh, a, a supposed quote from Hillary Clinton that is hundred percent false. Yeah, supposedly uh, Hillary Clinton said that if uh, Donald Trump wins another election, we'll all be hanging by nooses. False. 100%. They actually call these lies of this magnitude, they actually rate these pants on fire. And uh, the, uh, the rating is all in red, meaning this is a bald face freaking lie. Not a shred of truth. Those four ones I listed about Governor, uh, Governor Northam in Virginia shutting off cell phone towers, lie. Pelosi resigning if the impeachment doesn't go through, lie. Lee Majors donating, dying and donating $5 million to, to uh, Trump, lie. And Hillary Clinton saying that we'll all hang by nooses if Trump gets reelected, lie. Check out PolitiFact. It's a, it's a, it's a reliable website. For Trump supporters, for liberals, for for anybody, if you don't believe me, check it out. Check out their part. I, there's a, I'm going to put the link here and check out where it says about us, and read their description. It's not about Democrats, not about Republicans, not about liberals. It's just about the truth, plain and simple. Check it out. All right, you guys have a great Saturday night.